Hello, welcome to today's edition of Craft and Cryptic. Um, Mark's done a couple of videos last two days, a speed solve and then um, a run through of the listener. Um, so today we're going to go back to sort of normal, um, normal solve of the cryptic. I'm not going to race, uh, so I'll I'll solve it and talk about my thought processes as I'm doing it. So here we go. Thursday. Not sure what the exact date is. Let's have a look. Frantic check. Going round conference venue. Hmm. Conference venue. I'm thinking Potsdam or Yalta. Well, Potsdam is seven. And I'm now thinking that might be the right answer. Mad. I can see. Mad stop. Okay. So it's a reversal of mad stop for frantic mad check stop. And Potsdam is obviously the the definition now. Or the answer to the definition. Quick kiss for Oscar winner. Well, I think Gregory Peck probably won an Oscar, although I'm not sure. But it's certainly a quick kiss, so and that sounds right. Potentially compliant board keeping mum. Okay, well, board, very often for board you see um, the synonym table. So I'm instantly thinking table here. And mum, we've seen before, very often it's ma. So it's just whether we can put ma in table somehow to make a word. And we can if we go tameable, which does mean potentially compliant. So off to a reasonable start. With water lacking, well that sounds like dry immediately with a D here. River breaks petered out. With water lacking, river breaks petered out. Hmm. Not sure. It's my barking that Parisian follows in fascination. Okay, well, the way to solve clues like this is not to read them literally at all. I mean, obviously, I think the surface is referring to some, some dog barking, presumably. But when I see barking here, I'm immediately thinking of an anagram indicator. Um, maybe I'm helped by having the M here. But I'm thinking anagram of it's my and then a word that means that in French. So that Parisian, I'm thinking, translation of the word that. And mystique seems to fit the bill. Instantly, as you'll have seen before with me, whenever I get a cue, especially if it's early, and especially if it's in a word containing a Y as well, I'm now thinking this could be an attempt by the setter to make a pangram. So I'm just a little more uh, on the lookout for J's and X's now. Russian official vehicle crossing second westbound bypass. Well, I'm not sure what this is, but I'm wondering about a word like commissar, because I can see that has car around the outside of a whole load of other stuff. Let's just put commissar in and see if that makes any sense. Crossing second Westbound. Second westbound is a reversal of mo, isn't it? So mo for a second is in a moment. Wait a mo. And then bypass is miss, so it is commissar. What's needed by doctor close to securing key practice? What's needed by doctor close to securing? Key practice. Mm, I'm not sure. Key practice. That's making me think of sort of musical practice of some sort. Let's go to five across. Excuses from son involved in fire. Well, it looks like it's S for son in a six letter word for fire. The only thing I'm thinking of is ignite, which obviously doesn't work here. Fire, let go, let off, excuses, let, excuses, okay, different way of saying it, and then we get let's off, so I was a bit slow there, but, um, popular German, houses more spacious, popular German, okay, well this is the, we always say there'll be one of these in every times crossword, here you can find the answer hidden within the words popular German. 
can see in there larger for more spacious and houses is telling you that the, the, the letters of popular German are housing the actual answer they're including it. Laboured Way editor describes Bible translation. Well, Bible translation could be an anagram of Bible. Laboured Way editor Labored. Well, editors pr probably end in ed, doesn't it? So it's probably a word for a way. Hmm. Labored. How about, I have actually just got this. Bible translation, I don't think is an anagram of Bible. I think it's referring to the abbreviation AV, which is stands for authorized version. And a, a way could be a trail. So if we put trail around, or if we put trail plus ed for ed around av, we get travailed, which does mean laboured. And that's not an easy clue. I appreciate that. Um, but anyway, we've managed to get it. Uh, material from publication by unknown author, initial only used. What on earth is that talking about? Material. Well, I'm, only, I'm thinking organza is a material, isn't it? And I can see the only reason I'm putting this into check is unknown. Whenever you see unknown in a Times crossword, you should be thinking of X, Y, and Z um, as in sort of mathematical unknowns. Sometimes N as well, but you know, we had an O here. I know organza contains a Z, obviously, so I'm just wondering if this is the answer. Well, an organ could be a publication by unknown, author, initial only used, so it's saying only the initial letter of author. So another another reasonable solve. Jest, ultimately dire, in fact, in a dismal way. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think this is going to be some sort of anagram. So it looks to me like it's a ten letter word that means jest. Ultimately dire, I'm thinking, is the E from the word dire. And then if we add in fact in, mm, actually I don't like dismal way for as an anagram indicator. In a dismal way can be an anagram indicator, but the words just dismal way I don't think can be. So maybe I'm misunderstanding this clue. Jest. I'm going to come back to it. Iberian region lacking a component of A, air. Well, okay, that's the uh, element argon, which is a component of air, and aragon is part of Iberia. Um, let's try and get this one, give me a bit more an eight down. Domestic beast from mountain area, there or thereabouts. The domestic beast. Well, how about reading it differently? Maybe domestic beast from mountain area, there or thereabouts. How about alpaca? That's the answer, I think. Wow. So, I think, this is a very clever clue, this. So, the, cl the definition here is domestic beast. From is telling you that you're going to get the word alpaca from wordplay that follows the word from. Okay, so then we have mountain, alp, area, a, there or thereabouts, circa, ca, which gives us alpaca. So again, tricky, but what we got there. Practices piano when forced with the least coherence. Practices. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Let's go back to this one. What's needed by doctor close to securing key practice? What's needed by doctor? Um, gosh, you're probably screaming at the screen telling me what I'm missing here. With water lacking. Ah, okay. 
Right, so now I've understood this one. Uh, with water, lacking is actually the definition here. Um, and then we need R for river inside a four-letter word, which means petered out. And once we read it correctly, as so often with these uh, clues, they become very simple. But until you read them properly, they can be an absolute devil. So now, what's this, bedtime or something? What's needed by doctor? Close to securing key practice. Bedtime, bedside manner, bedside manner, yeah, okay. Oh, it's gone awry. N-N-E-R, bedside manner, okay. Close to securing key practice. So beside is close to securing D, which is a musical key, and then a practice is a manner. Cool. Jest ultimately dire in fact in a dismal way. Jest. Uh, jest is... Ah! Don't know. <laughs> uh, 13 across. Cask knocked over. I'm immediately thinking of the word ton here, the T-U-N for a cask. So, oh, well, that looks good, doesn't it? So let's put nut in at the end and see if... I've not read the rest of the queue yet, but I'm already thinking of this construction. Behind crate, odds are you'll have heard of it. Hmm over behind crate odds C -A -E. odds are you'll have heard of it hmm. now I'm wondering whether that is correct or not let's try 14 down unlikely group of sisters perhaps providing no picnic <laughs> um, Unlikely, if something's tall, it's unlikely, like a tall story. Unlikely group of sisters, perhaps. A nunnery? Providing no picnic. Now, I might need a swig of coffee here, I think. Seventeen across. Whenever you fancy a wife, work around it if you fancy okay very another very clever surface this is a good crossword this um, so whenever you fancy is the definition here and then let's read the rest of it we need a okay let's try putting the a at the start wife we've seen that before very often abbreviated to w so we need to put a w in a four letter word uh, which means work. So work will be round the W of wife. And then I think the clue becomes slightly easier. At will, which means whenever you fancy. He wears pants, but contrarily. Um, okay, well I'm thinking here that pants could be an anagram indicator. So I need an anagram of he wears. And... What's that going to be if it was? He wears pants, but contrarily. Mm, not sure. But this could be tall. Tall is still fitting there. So, something to play with British in traditional hotspot. Something to play with. British in traditional hotspot. Hmm, not sure. Need some letters, I think, for that. Equestrian jump, better one in part. Oh my goodness. This is the sort of clue that, you know, fills me with cold fear. That I don't know the name of some horse jump. Um, Beecher's Brook, Canal Turn. Uh, yeah. Gamble roping. I mean, gamble here. I'm immediately thinking this is an anagram of something. Gamble roping in last of large, 
brood for greater number. Yeah, okay, so we can actually, interestingly, I think gamble here might be the anagram indicator. If we look at, if we think that that could be the case, we could say it's an anagram of roping in the E from the word large, as in the last of large, and brood, and that would add up to 13 letters. And the whole thing will mean greater number. Um... So, can I see what that's it, what that's going to be? Ah, not quite seeing it. Okay, for what's in orbit, I holler mightily to be heard. Okay. Well, I haven't got this yet, but I think I've got an idea. For what's in orbit, well, I think the answer will be something in orbit, but I don't think it's going to be an orbit as in space. I think the orbit is part of your eye. And I holler mightily to be heard sounds like we're looking for a homophone here. So I like, how about eyeball? And if you ball is into cry with a different spelling, obviously, that's how you might holler mightily. So I think eyeball is the answer there. The annoying thing about this answer is it gives me jack in terms of useful crossing letters. Hacked off when leading characters put down. Well, this probably means hacked, and then it's going to be a word for off with its first letter put to the last letter. Um, oh. I was wondering if it could be wary, as in awry with the A moving down. Uh, but wary, I don't think it does mean hacked, does it? A strategic arrangement in war, Helen and Co. generated. Strategic. Well, yes, this is an anagram. Uh, and it, it does mean strategic arrangement in war. Um, and then Helen and Co. This is very, I mean, it looks very much like the setter has absolutely required these particular letters, i.e. Helen and Co. Uh, in the clue. And whenever you see very, very particular letters used, you should immediately be thinking of anagram. Um, and I think echelon is the answer there. Ah, now how about sawn for hacked? That work. Uh, off when leading characters put down. No, I don't think so. Hewn, maybe? Ah, <laughs> hacked, hacked off is hewn, and then when, when we put the actual word when, when we adjust the position of the W, we get hewn. So that's that. We were on the right lines, but the clue was actually simpler than I thought it was. Loathe semen, old buddy squeezed in. Well, okay. If you loathe some, so I'm thinking here, it could be the word mate. A semen is a mate, as in a shipmate. I'm just wondering whether if we put China in for an old word for a buddy, we get machinate, which I think can mean loathe. I'm certainly very tempted by it because of the the way the wordplay seems to stack up. Let's carry on. Uncrowned King of England disheartened by division in city. Uncrowned King of England. Uncrowned. Mm, not 
sure. 60, oh, this is the equestrian jump again. Right, we're going to have to go, go further down. 25. Critically change finale the writers inserted. Okay, that's a bizarrely easy clue after some of these others. So, critically change, I think is the definition here. And we're looking for a short synonym for finale, which should be pretty obvious. The writers inserted. So whenever we see the writer, we're looking for me, perhaps. Um, so the set is referring to himself. Uh, sometimes this could be I'm. Uh, as in, you know, because of the apostrophe S there, indicating what he's doing. So, but we don't need that there, we just need the me for amend. Would that be tall order then? Yes, a group of sisters is an order, so providing no picnic. I suppose something's no picnic, it would be a tall order. 27. Stunned criminal arrested, resistance gone. Ah, okay, so this is a, again, this is another anagram. We're looking for a word which means stunned. Criminal here is the anagram indicator. And we, we're looking for an anagram of the word arrested with one R disappearing, that's because resistance is gone. Uh, and it means stunned, and the answer is therefore... Um, uh, stunned. Why can't I see what that is? S T E A, I'm looking for, I think. Tasered. I forgive myself for not seeing tasered in each of these. Slightly odd word. Okay, he wears pants, but contrarily. Okay, how about whereas then? Another quite awkward anagram. Ah, so this could be chestnut now. I can see how that fits. You all have heard of an old chestnut. Lovely. Okay. So the word odds here is, is very nasty because whenever uh, I see the word odds in a crossword clue, I'm automatically trying to take the odd letters of something, um, which I'm absolutely sure this setter knows. So he's, I'm sure he's used odds are here to, to try and mislead, which he did, so well, fair play. Um, okay, let's go to 12 down. Practices piano when forced with the least coherence. Practices piano when forced with the least coherence. Okay. Hmm. See, I'm thinking if something's done with the least coherence, it would be the scrambliest or something like that. School with the least coherence. Scratchiest? Practices piano when forced. Scratchist. I thought to scratch what I suppose scratch is more to do with playing the violin, isn't it? So we need to go back to this clue. I like the word preponderance because I can see that fits, but that's obviously not an anagram of the word roping. So I'm wondering whether I've misunderstood the clue totally. So let's just put preponderance in. I can see how that's got prance around, which is gamble. Roping in last of large 
brood ponder okay so yes I totally misunderstood this clue um, so for, forgive me for that ah, so this doesn't look good now machinate looks wrong I think so this looks like Edward or Edmund uncrowned king of England disheartened uncrowned king is probably so it is Edward a ward is a division of a city scrappiest is this now the least coherent scrappiest practices piano when for oh is that an anagram <laughs> how surprising yes it is it's an anagram of practices and p for piano lovely clue it's so nat it reads so naturally very very um very very clever and this then abominate is this abominate ab for semen old Buddy squeezing in, so it's mate squeezing an in inside the word mate. So machinate was absolute nonsense. Ah, Clydesdale is a neigh then, is it? So Clydesdale is a horse. Consider changing direction. Consider weigh. If you weigh something, you consider it. You change the direction and you get a call from a Clydesdale. So that's nay. Oh dear. So we're now left with our equestrian jump better one in part better one in part a part could be a roll ah yeah okay a capriole I'm not sure if I've said that correct but I think there is a word that is that and it definitely fits the wordplay if you better something you cap it you put one, i.e. this one here, in the word roll, which is a part, as in a part of a play, a roll in a play. And that gives us the answer. So, something to play with British in traditional hot spot. Something to play with. Well, I'm wondering, something to play could be... The, and then with British could be with, could be and, B could be British. How about handbell? And a hot, I suppose hell is a traditional hot spot. <laughs> so I think that's handbell, which is a, it's probably something you can play. Now, so we're left with this one. Jest, ultimately dire, in fact, in a dismal way. Um... Jest, ultimately dire in fact. I want this to be ending in either for some able or ably. In a dismal way. Absolute. Uh, in a dismal way. It's fable could be, you know, it's, it's definitely, it means opposite of fact. So I don't really like putting fable around the edge here. Jest could be fun, maybe. Ultimately dire, that would be the letter E. In fact, funereally then. Ooh, that looks better, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, this looks right now. So jest is fun, ultimately dire E, in fact, really, and in a dismal way, funereally. So, okay, I think this is probably correct now. 
very good CrossFit today. Uh, lots of interesting stuff. I've taken my time going through it, which I hope um, I hope is worth it. I know it makes the video slightly longer, um, but for those of you who are less experienced with the Times crossword, I think going through it at a more stately pace is is, is valuable. Um, so anyway, let's see if it's right. And if it is, we'll see you again tomorrow on Cracking the Cryptic. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching.